Jericho Mentality is our new morning devotion that starts at 6.30 with Pastor Jolly George. Make sure you're going to check it out and remember, be blessed and God loves you. Praise the Lord and a blessed morning. 1 John 5, 4, we read like this. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Your past need not to be your future. Hallelujah, because God has a bright future store for you. And Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, we read like that. I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. They are plans for peace and not disaster. Plans to give you a future filled with hope. Hallelujah. So, who is the one who reminds you always your past? It is the devil. He reminds you about your past, your history, and he wants you to be stuck there forever. Whereas, God has filled your life with promises. His plans for you are His promises in your life. The precious promises can come alive in your life when you choose to seek Him about the promises, when you choose to trust Him, His word in your life, and you choose to believe Him. Then we can see that the promises come alive in your life. Because when you believe that Jesus is the way, he is the promise keeper, the way maker in my life. So seek him and choose to hear him. That is the way of faith in our lives. Because faith is the way of the victor. That's what John says, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So. Today morning, I just wanted to encourage you by saying that don't let the past remind you of what you are right now. You cannot play the role of victim and the victor. No, no, no. no. You can choose only one. And the Bible says that you are born of God. Therefore, you are a victor. Hallelujah. You are chosen. You are indestructible. You are victorious. Because of the work what Christ has done on the cross for you and for me. So, and he has filled our lives with a surplus grace. So, let not the devil steal your joy, your confidence and the great hope and the great destiny which God has created for you. So, believe that your past, no need to dictate your future. But your choice matters. Choose to walk by faith. Walking by sight and walking by feelings doesn't help you. Doesn't help you to be a victor. But walk by faith. And believe that your God has found beauty for ashes in your life. So, and also believe that he has a great plan for your life. So, walk with him in the light of his love and mercy. Don't go away from his presence. So, if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sins. 1 John 1, 7 says that. So, remember that. If you had a past, surely, definitely, you have a future too. Choose to trust him. Choose to walk by faith. And you will reach to your great destiny. Hallelujah, shall we pray. Father, we thank you and we praise you. Father, we choose to trust you today. We choose to walk by faith, Lord. It's not by our sight, it's not by our feelings. But Father, we know that if we walk by our sight and our feeling, Lord, it can destroy us, Lord. But whereas, Lord Jesus, help us to believe the plans which you had for us, Lord. Believe the promises which you have gave to us, Lord, because you are the promise keeper, the way maker, the miracle worker in our lives, Lord. Lord, this, this whole day we are committing unto thy mighty, Lord. 
help us to walk by faith lord thank you we thank you and we praise you jesus we thank you for being with us and hearing our prayers in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen so your past no need to be your future god has a bright future store for you we need to choose to accept and believe it so have a blessed day